Hello everyone, can you hear me? Awesome. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? It's good to... Uh, I can't at least awesome. Uh, no, it's good to be back live streaming. It's been a while, uh, but I just got Pokemon Sword as you can see. I thought it'd be fun to play and show you guys and see if it's up to the hype or if it's up to the hate because it's a lot of people been kind of hating on Pokemon Sword Shield a little bit. So I'm curious um, and I'm doing good, Bianca Lily. I'm doing really good. Like I said, it's good to be back. So I say why not? Let's just jump into the game. We're going to be playing as this one right here. Oh, there we go. So, out of curiosity, has any of you guys played this game yet, or any of you guys have it? Anything I can expect? Oh, and here's a good question. Who, who out of these eight should I play as? Should I be a boy or a girl, and which one should I be? I'll see if you guys, if enough people um, say it, they can decide for me. see last one gurp or girl last one girl so this one you're saying bottom record okay so two people have said that I I could do that one I've never actually played as a girl in a uh, Pokemon so I think it'd be fun I'm barely started playing my first Pokemon game last week but my server oh nice oh hello Bradley boy all right well I'm gonna play as a girl I've never played as a girl so I think that'd be fun um, so we'll choose this one. What should the name be? You guys can say anything you want as long as it's appropriate. Uh, do you have a suggestion for a name? What? For the person? Uh, did you tell them what you told Billy to name? Oh, uh, well, when Billy was playing, I told them to name his uh, female character Lathaniel. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Chicken Nugget 85, Bella. Oh, and Bradley Boy says the lamp. Ramen Girl. Hmm. See, I can't do the yes, lamp. Chicken Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the lamp. I mean, the lamp's a little bit too powerful. Oh, hold on a second. Live stream health went to the yellow. Well, that's not good. Um. I think chicken nugget. You think chicken nugget's a good name. Right. Okay. This is our chicken nugget girl. She chicken nugget. Let's see. Oh wait, do I have enough characters for it? Chicken. I don't know if I have. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do chicken nug. Ch <laughs> <laughs> chicken nug. Okay, we are chicken nug. That's what we look like. Oh she cute. That's probably what I'm gonna play in. Yes, chicken nugget. Beautiful. Hold on. All right, we are Chicken Nug. Thank you. I think, uh, yes, Holly, thank you very much for that name. Hey, just out of curiosity, you guys, is the stream doing pretty healthy? Just want to make sure. Chicken Nug, yeah, boy. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, here's this guy. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Bear back. Okay. Um, beautiful cities and many Pokemon which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Oh, what the hell is that? Thanks to the help of these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon all around us. In the sea, in the sky, and even within, uh, with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete. We call Pokemon Trainers. Ironically, Chicken Nug doesn't like chicken. And the stream is working. Alright, thank you. Alright. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's ex Exhibition Match.
Huh. If there's anything that Pokemon history tells me, the guy with the crazy hair is usually the villain. Kinda looks like the elephant from the Animal Crossing movie. That's, uh, yeah, I could see that, but it's orange also. I was expecting more people to watch this. I, that happens sometimes. Well, you know, I don't lose battles. Rihon? Rihon? Charizard, Dynamax. Wow. Pokemon Sword. See, I'm really happy also. I learned that Vulpix... I think... Oh, woohoo. Wooloo. Oh, Wooloo. I said woohoo. My Woo bad. <laughs> oh, I love Wooloo so much. And I like Eevee. Oh, I love Eevee. Uh, I really like Umbreon. That's my favorite Eeveelution. Oh, oh there's a little Munch Munchlax. My bad. Hey, uh, hey, hon, be honest with me. Am I a pretty girl? Yeah, you're probably the girl I'm gonna play as, honestly. <laughs> probably. Hello, hello. Oh, your, oh, your flash, your flash new phone, chicken mug. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. My brother lost, lost our God's stolen. Let's go, Evie. Lost. Aw. I'm sorry. I hope you can get a new copy of it. Aw. Uh, there's Mom. Pop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't it? Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over here to get Chicken Nug. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording on home anyway. Oh, at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Chicken Nug. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you. See you at mine later. Oh, there we go. Alright, hold on. I know that there's an Easter egg with this. Hold on. Jesus. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I love Munchlax. He's so cute. Hold on. Aw. Alright. And I think this is it right here? You grab mom's old bag. There we go. Huh. Oh, hi. Oh, hello, random guy who likes SU. Let's see. Um. Yeah, you're literally probably. Oh, she's she's actually really cute, that character. I like it. Yeah. Hold on, I want to see. Can I play the Switch on here? The latest video game console sitting by the telly. By the telly. I gotta say, this girl had a lot more stuff than I did as a kid. I mean, she has a Switch, a laptop, a television. A big television. I, there was times where I didn't even have a television as a kid. Oh, my dad always made sure I had one. Well, I wish your dad was my dad then. Because <laughs> sometimes he wouldn't give me one. Huh? Oh, there we go. So I forget, have, has, have any of you guys played Pokemon, uh, this Pokemon yet? So I can know what to expect, if it's good or bad? Like I said, people are very divided on Oh, look at this. Whatever you are. I don't know your name. But you're cute. Alright. Uh, have a look at you, Chicken Nug. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know it should hold anything Lee might bring. Even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Aw, oh, it's rolling. A Wooloo. But what's it doing here? Alright. Hey, you silly Wooloo, I see what you're up to. Don't use, don't go using tackle on the fence. Now you, oh, shoot. Alright, everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in this, the slumbering, how do you say that? Is it Weald? I don't know. Oh, Justin Williams, you said you have played this game? How is it? Alright. Now that that's taken care of, how about Chicken Nug? Let's race. I bet I can get to my house first with you lugging that big old bag. I think that's one thing that needs to be on my uh, on my team. I definitely need a Wooloo. Aw. 
So, uh, let me ask you guys. Uh, I know I asked a long time ago, like a real long time ago. But I am curious, what kind of game do you want this to be? It can be just a normal Let's Play, a Nuzlocke, or I can try to get through it as fast as possible. Just tell me what you guys think. Oh, now you can battle and trade poke. Oh, and this guy's talking about science, I guess. Here we are. Okay, someone said Nuzlocke. Someone just said normal game. I can see why people don't like Nuzlocke. My wife really hates them because she doesn't like the idea of a Pokemon dying when it faints. Alright. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Chicken Nug. I gotta know what kind of parent would you have to be to name your child Chicken Nug. It's beautiful. Oh, you've you've brought along Chicken Nug. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where's Lee? Have you got him uh, crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station. Then that's where we're going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably... That probably is for the best. You've got to come with me, Chicken Nug. You still have never met my big brother. You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. Alright, well, it looks like everyone's vote on a normal game, so I think that's just what I'm going to do. Just have fun. Um, oh, and I want to see what their house looks like. Oh, what what are you? Yeah, you're kind of cute. To Hop, his brother is a superhero. Okay. Oh. Nope, I guess that's the house. What noise? It's a little squeak. Did I do that? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Well, Oh, it's a purloin. Okay, that's what it's called. Oh, dude. I I'm jealous of all the kids in this area. They all have, like, really cool rooms. I never had that expensive room. Hold on. A Pokemon suggestion. Pyrite, a dark-type Pokemon. Hmm. I might have to get that. I I'll have to see where it is, but I'm down for getting... Oh, what'd you say? Oh, yeah, Pyrite. All right, hold on. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Chicken Nug... Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through the patch of grass. I've got my Wulu with me. So I'm ready for a battle against any wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Chicken Ugg. So we'll still steer clear of tall grass as we go. Route 1. Aww. But I want a Pokemon. Alright, I love how he says, like, I think that's a station up there. And I love how the guy's like, oh, he gets lost. I'm like, it's literally a straight shot from his house over to here. Hello, hello. Is that Wedgehurst? Your champion, champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and your Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all... You, wait, hold on. You will all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from a battle. Then come challenge me for the championship title, our champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you. You've taught us to, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for the Galar trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Huh. Hop. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's the sword of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? 
And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Chicken Nug, am I right? Chicken Nug. I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest Pokemon champion and massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Chicken Nug. Bet I can beat both of you back home? That's that hop always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With prop with a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. And I'm guessing that's my job. Oh my god, look at all the advertisements on his cape. Well everyone, I bid you farewell today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Alright. <laughs> don't worry guys. Soon, instead of undefeated champion Nug, it'll be undefeated champion... No, no, sorry, yeah, that's what it's going to be. The undefeated champion Nug. It'll be beautiful. <clears throat> Let's see, this channel's good. Oh, thank you very much, Holly. I appreciate that. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Chicken Nug and me a Pokemon, didn't you? Oh, you did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everybody. Take a good look, you two. Aw, it's... Oh, it's Grookey. Then there's Score Bunny. And then there's Sobble. Aww. I gotta say, I think personally, I think they did pretty good. Okay, guys, it's uh, almost deciding time. I have a feeling who I'm kind of looking at to choose for this stream, but I want to know what your guys' input is. Who should I pick to be my starter? Aww. Uh -huh. I know you love Sobble, but you're gonna do that with your well I. I love Sobble and Grookey, but I think I know who I'm gonna do, maybe. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do Grookey on You think you're gonna do Grookey on yours? Maybe. The Pokemon are so cute. Oh, they are. Okay, so random guy who likes SU says Sobble. Um, the monkey one says Holly. Sobble, you butt. <laughs> I like that. Okay, go on. You pick first. I've already got Wooloo, after all. Ooh, that's tough. Okay. Uh... The water type. A lot of people are saying Sobble. That's true. A lot of people are saying Sobble. He is so cute. Sobble is adorable. But I also really love Grookey. Score Bunny is like really cute too. But for some reason I've never chosen a fire starter ever. Sobble Squad? <laughs> oh, let's see. Boop. Boop. Uh, let's see. So you're thinking Gronky Hunt? Hey, let's send it on. I'm the ones who are watching. That's true. No, I I'm just trying to figure out. I think for me, I, I don't know, because I'm still on what I want to choose. See, I'm upset, because, like, at Sun and Moon, I was immediate, like, all right, I'm getting a Rowlet. Like, there was no question. All three of these are actually really good, in my opinion. Um, how about one you've never choose? Sabo's Evolution kind of looks weird, though. That is true. Okay, another person said Gronky. Um... So here, I'm going to make up my mind. Um, I was going to choose Sobble for my main series, the one I do personally. So for this one, I think I'm going to choose Gronky. Is it Gronky? Or, or, yeah. He's so cute! He is. Gr oh, Grookey. Thanks, Grookey. It's soothing. Like a nice <laughs> long walk in the woods. Oh, that's sweet. All right, guys. Yep, I'm doing uh, a Grookey. I need to get used to that name. Make sure you name him. Oh, I'm going to. Okay, guys, time to name him. I don't know why I yelled that so loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. What should I name him? How about... I got an idea. And you guys can say no, but I think it might be fun. I 
as if the lamp came over from Animal Crossing um, uh, City Folk to help with this, to help us win the Pokemon Championship. He will be the most powerful Pokemon. What do you guys think? Do you think that's good, Little Lamp? I think they're like, yes. Oh. <laughs> Here, how about this random guy? My next grass Pokemon, I'll name him Grass Milk. Alright, I'm it. I think everyone's saying yes. So you know what? I'm going to name him Little Lamp. Little Lamp came over from City Folk to give me his power to win the championship. The lamp has been added to your party. Is the lamp that popular to wear too? Hold on. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Grookey is adorable. They're all adorable. I don't want to watch because this is probably who I'm going to choose. Nice one. All right. Then I'll go with Sobble. You're mine. Aw, Sobble's so cute. Oh, I do love Sobble. I can't wait to play my own personal one and have He's Sobble. So cute. Oh, and I love Wulu. They're so... I don't know how you say it. Alright, I bet you will be, Hop. This is why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Chicken Nug. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. To try to reach me. Alright, hold on a second. Tries to show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. I think this is really smart for you, Leon. You now have two fire types, but you know what? You do you. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's eat. Name a Wooloo Beep Beep. Oh, that's so cute. I want a real Oh, I would love a real life Pokemon. If I could have one, it would be Vulpix. Because Vulpix is my favorite. And Pokemon Amethyst, if it's made, I want Pyrite to be in it. Pokemon Amethyst? I've never heard of that. If it is made, they said. I know, I was just like... If it's made, is that like a planned thing or something? Oh, the next day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, hold on, guys. I'll be right back in just a second. I need to do something really quick. Alright guys, sorry about that, I am back, and life is going pretty good actually. Hold on you spent a whole night with that new partner of yours, right Hop? You two getting along alright? Understand one another? Maybe even built up a little bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Chicken Nug made fast friends with her Gronky, to or Grookey. Well of course it is, it's the Lamp. Me and the Lamp have a strong connection. Then listen up, new trainers, believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust one another... Sorry, and carrying, uh, carry one, I'll uh, carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. That guy really, really loves, really loves saying how he's the unbeatable champion. E, is something wrong? I want Jigglypuff to be real so I could snuggle. Oh, that's cute. And, uh, Bianca, is something wrong with the streamer saying? Or are you asking about something else? Just want to check. Ran oh. He really goes for himself. He does. All right. What are you looking? What are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Chicken Nug might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in battle against your friend, if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing, willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Hell yeah, I am. Alright. Believe in your partner, Pokemon. And care for them, too, with all of your heart. Do 
Uh, do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion... To have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do it. I've watched every match Lee has ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. We'll see about that. Hmm. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop has sent out Wooloo. Aw, I love Wooloo. And then there's Lamp. Okay, well this should, Wooloo should be taken down pretty easily. So let's do this. Okay, I only lost three, so that's not bad. There we go. Alright, Wooloo's almost done for. The lamp you scratch. Good job, the lamp. You will soon be the most. Pa you will soon be level 100, hopefully. Are we sure Hop's not a crazed fan? Well, he is. Like he's the little brother looking up to the big brother. I mean, I had a big brother. I I've been there whenever like I felt left out. Oh. It's not over yet. I add another trusty ally to my team. Sobble. Branch poke. Oh shit. Oh. I'm from the. Yeah, I'm from the US too, actually. Oh. Did you already know about type advantages? Yes, I did, actually. And, oh. I'm surprised that wasn't a one hit KO. Okay, what went down? Oh, my attack fell. And there we go! They don't even have any pictures of the little brother in the house. All the pictures are of the chan- Oh, that's a sad story. I need to see that now, actually. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Level 7. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and Grookey are too much. I got $400. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon, too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Grookey. Why don't you get yourself all sorted? And Chicken Nug, you've got a real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make uh, and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me battle now. Lee. So come on, you've gotta let me take on the Pokemon Gyms. You join the Gym Challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the Oh, not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Not sure what that saying means. Let's see. Especially your friend Chicken Nug, before you think about getting to the gym badges. Best to think about getting a Pokedex. I don't need a Pokedex, I got Lamp. Let's see, a trainer's Pokedex helps, th helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data. It's, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Make sure to look for those random Pokeballs that contain those potions and things. One behind Professor's house has a great ball, I think. Oh, that's good. Thank you very much, Cats for Life. Our Cats are life. Looks like it's off to Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Chicken Nug. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor to... Ah, uh, I can't talk, sorry. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so... Oh, so completing a simple task... Or completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably... Oh yeah, you'd probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Okay. Oh, hold on. I do want to check what the person said, though. Is there literally no pictures of him? Okay. 
Okay, well, there's not... Oh, wait. I can't... Oh, no, that's Leon right there. And these are Leon. Oh, that poor kid is living in his brother's shadow. Like, there are literally no pictures of him, but there's always everything about Leon. Poor guy. <laughs> All right. Time to continue. Oh. Chicken Nine, did you hear that just now? Oh, wait. There's Butterfree in the background. Oh, I love Butterfree. Oh, the gate's open. The woohoo that was there. Oh, Wooloo. I keep saying Woohoo. My bad. <laughs> Maybe I should name my Wooloo that. Just Woohoo? Alright, so it looks like the Wooloo broke through the fence. I remember Professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the ear earful she got from the Professor afterwards. Chicken Nug, what do you say? We've got to save it. I want Chicken Oh, dude, Chicken Nug, it sounds so good right now. All right, time to go save a Wulu. Okay, the slumbering... I really don't know what that word is or what it means. I'm going to assume it's like a forest. That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. I gotta say, this is kind of looking like how, where I live. See, winter where I live, you don't get a lot, you don't, like, get any snow. You get some rain, but you get a lot of fog. Oh, and I got a Pokemon battle. Oh, wow. A Squovet. Squovet? Alright, let's see. Branch poke. It's summer here. Oh, it's winter where I am. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been getting cold lately. It's just a little chilly around where I am. But it's, like I said, not any snow. And just a lot of rain and fog, really. And... Oh, that's it? Okay. It's literally freezing. Ooh. Oh. There we go. Little bridge. Oh, oh shoot, I got in our fight. Okay. Oh, I want it. I want it. I don't know what it is. A, ro a rookie D. I want it. That's adorable. Your team is too... Oh, that's not good. Hold on. Wait, I just remembered. Are grass types not... Yeah, they're not effective against flying types. Name it Dark... <laughs> You and milk. I might just name it Dark Milk. That'd be fun. Though I can't catch it right now, sadly. I don't have a Pokeball. There we go. Oh, Goodbye, little buddy. I'll catch you later. Alright. And... Oh. Did you hear that? Was that Pokemon crying out, you think? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find our Pokemon. Yep. Because Cali is crazy for weather. Cali is... Oh, well, it depends where you are. See, I've been to, like, Redding, California. And, uh, they're very extremes with their weather. Mostly it's hot, but I've heard winters there can be kind of rough. But if you live, like, in L.A., I hear it's just kind of warm all times throughout the year. Oh, oh, wait, that's interesting. The moves actually now tell you if they're effective against a Pokemon. Well, that's interesting. Okay, now I can continue. Come on, Chicken Nug. The Wooloo might be in real trouble. Don't leave me. Okay, you're gonna leave me. Whatever. I used to live in Florida until, like, oh, until Hurricane Drown. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to be in the U.S. in 2024? Okay. Oh. oh my god, I like can't see anything. Oh, 
Anaheim. That's where freaking Disneyland is. I've been wanting to take my wife to Disneyland. Oh, this is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Wow, that is actually really foggy. Oh. Hello. What the? Hi. <laughs> Uh, I'm jealous of you, Bianca. I want to go to Disneyland so bad. Like, I've been wanting to take my wife, because I've been... I went a lot as a kid. Uh, my wife has never been. Oh, hello from North... Hello, North Carolina. Or, hello, Justin from North Carolina. My bad. Hello, North Carolina. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess... Attack question marks. Good. That's what I was hoping for. What? The move has no effect on it. You need to take her. Trust me, I want to. It's just a. It's just a reason of money, actually. That's the only reason why I haven't been able to take my wife to Disneyland. But I really want to. Like I'm a big Disneyland uh, nerd. Actually, yeah. Like I said, I got Disney Plus. That's how. Like I got Disney Plus. I'm even watching the show called Engineering. The or sorry, Imagineering, where they helped like the Imagineers who created Disneyland and Disney World. It's a fun show. All right. Well, I guess scratch again. I guess I just have to keep attacking until something happens. Move has no effect. And... Now I can't see. I can't see anything. It's very observant. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, beyond I would highly suggest getting Disney Plus. It's only six ninety nine a month and the amount of stuff you can watch is just almost overwhelming in a good way. What Lee, how'd you manage to find your way up here? Your pant uh your pants with directions. I don't know what that saying means. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the low brother who had made. Oh, who had me worried sick. I've been waiting. I've been waiting ages for you two. You never showed up. Who's your favorite princess? Mine, Cinder. Ooh, favorite princess. So my wife's is Ariel from Little Mermaid. Oh my God, that's hard. Um. See, I love. Mm, I really love Mulan. She's a cool one. I also really like Rapunzel from Tangled. Um, I also do like Ariel a lot. I don't know. I'd have to think about who's my favorite, but I have a lot of ones I really love. It would be Mulan, Rapunzel, Ariel. Um... Is Tiana the one from the frog? Uh, what's the movie? Princess and the, frog. Princess and the Frog. Is that right? Yeah. Awesome. I did like her a lot too. Wait, where's Wulu? We're trying to rescue that Wulu. Oh, you're right there. Yeah. Hello, chaps. Just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least Wulu's all right. Yeah, Chicken Nug. I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by a mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? Oh, no. Someone's singing Let It Go in the comments. <laughs> uh... It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. Add sort of a presence. Our moves didn't even touch it, I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Our moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say lives in the slumbering wield are actually illusions or something. Get strong enough, and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. I'm sure that's... 
Uh, oh, you're talking about the one with Maleficent? That's Sleeping Beauty. Hold on. Even if we did get an earful from Lee. What an experience. This'll make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. I think it's a good question, what's your favorite Disney movie? See, my favorite Disney movie of all time um, would have to be Wally. -E. That might be my favorite Disney movie of all time. I love Wally -E so much. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go, uh, she'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. No, the movie about Maleficent. Oh, so you mean the just Maleficent the movie? Okay. Alright, I guess I need to tell my mom what's up. Tum Tum. Well now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, you never watched Wally? You need to. It's one of the best movies. Um, favorite Disney villain? Ooh, that's a great question. Uh, my favorite Disney villain, I did really like the villain from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. He was a very unique villain. Um, I guess I will give credit to Frozen in that the first time I watched it, it did surprise me that the guy turned out to be the villain. Uh, Hans was his name? Yeah, yeah I, it did surprise me he became a villain, honestly. So... I do have to give a credit there. I wouldn't say he's my favorite, though. Alright. Pocket money. Buy yourself a little sign of the Pokemon. Um, Krista just said that her favorite is Ursula. No surprise, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with the guy from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I, of course, I did also like the villain from Wally, although he's not my favorite. It is just kind of cool seeing how, since he was a robot with no emotions, just how... Tyler. What? Yeah, I told them that they should see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Wally's, like I said, one of my favorite movies of all time. Though I do love Ursula, especially her song, uh, what's that one? Poor, Poor Unfortunate Soul. Mine is Cruella de Vil, or Maleficent, or Mother Grotho. I do love Maleficent. And did you guys know they're making a movie, I think it's with Emma Stone, about Cruella de Vil, like it's a prequel. Like it's her beginning story. At least that's what I'm told. Alright. I just realized I kind of ignored what my mom told me. Oh, well, that, that happens. Oh, Butterfreeze. There we go. I can't wait to catch one of these guys. Okay, I wonder when I can get Pokeballs. No, Crow Deville is my fave now. Oh, good. Oh, wait. Here we go. This is quite a big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Sabo a bit by having a little battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof that has the great and red white ball mark out in front of it. This is the Pokemon Research Lab. Who remembers Zoe 101? Oh, I remember Zoe 101. I used to watch it. Really. Yeah, I watched it a lot growing up. I remember that. I heard that they're thinking of... Oh, wait. Oh, it wants me to battle. Like, the Wulu won't let me pass without battling. Really? Oh, you guys are making me go through... Okay. What the heck is that thing? Oh, what are you? You're a little fox. Um... Scratch? I hope you're not fire. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't. Bianca, I would love to catch you, but I can't. I don't have a Pokeball. At least I don't think I do. Hold on. No. Oh, wait. I do. Okay, guys. I might need to catch my first Pokemon, but let me scratch it one more time. It is cute, though. Hold on. Come on. Don't. Don't. Oh, good. Okay. All right, guys, if I catch this, you need to think of a name really quick. What should we name this guy? Fox Milk? Of course it's Milk. 
His name is Nikit right now. Would you like to? Yes. All right. So far, we got Fox Milk and Todd. Fox Milk and Todd. I love it. Oh, I think Billy just got off. Someone said Critter. Little Critter, Todd. Oh, now there's two people. Todd. Alright, so as I said, random guy, I'm only going to name one Pokemon after Milk, and I told you I'm going to name the bird Pokemon Dark Milk, remember? So, you know what? I'm going to listen to what you people are saying. Todd the Pokemon. Oh, whoops. Todd has been added to your party. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure Todd's a girl, by the way. So, oh wait, yep, there's Dark Milk. I like him. Oh, I do too. That's Dark Milk. <laughs> I, I wonder. Unnerve. Do you guys think I should try to catch, like, as many Pokemon as possible, or should I just try to go through it casually? Oh no. Oh, don't. Okay, you're doing fine. I'm only doing the not effective attack so that way I don't kill it on accident. Though you are level 6 now that I think about it. As many Pokemon. Okay, I'll catch as many as I can, but I do want to continue with the story also. Just a slow process. I think I might only need one or two more attacks, and then I'll probably be good. Actually, I'll do one more attack. Because then it will be kind of deeper into the yellow. Let's see. One more attack. Beautiful. Aw, oh, don't hurt me, please. No, you got this. You got this, little lamp. Come on. Come on. When you guys play Pokemon, do you ever just like click, like whenever you're trying to catch a Pokemon? I always just repeatedly click A a lot. Like I kind of go crazy because I want to make sure I, uh, I don't know. That's just what I was taught as a kid. Alright, now we got Dark Milk. There we go. Dark Milk has been added to the party. <coughs> Wait, come back here. I need to catch you. Ooh, big cheeks there. What should we name him? Oh, wait, we learned another move. What does Taunt do? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's cool. I, like, disabled one of his moves, practically. Oh, wait, I have to do it with this. Okay. Squirrel milk. Name it chocolate. Oh, chocolate sounds cute. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> no, faint. Mary, this isn't a Nuzlocke. Chalky milk. Or someone said chubs. About Chonky. Name him Chonky? What do you guys think of Chonky? Oh, there we go. So they're either saying Chalky Milk, uh, Chubs. Someone said yes to Chonky, it looks like. <laughs> I think people kind of just, uh, let's see, Holly wants, like, a chocolate thing. So, hmm. Chocolate Oh, that's a good one. Here, that's a good name. Hold on.
Oh, I don't think I have enough for that. Uh, yeah, I can only do chocolate or chalky. Chalky chunk. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, hon. Your name is uh, Chalky. There we go. All right, I think I got on all the star Pokemon I can right now, so I'm gonna just continue. Oh wait, no, there's a Wooloo. I need to get the Wooloo. Come back here. Okay, I've been waiting for Wooloo for so long. So should I name him Beep Beep or Woohoo? So guys, uh, two choices for Lou Wooloo's name. It's Beep Beep or Woohoo. Okay, please don't kill it. Okay, actually, that was good. So it looks like everyone's uh, thinking, uh, I gotta go. Oh, okay, well, thanks for joining, Bianca. Sorry, everyone is saying woohoo. So you, when I catch you, are gonna be woohoo. Bianca, it's Binka. Oh, I'm so sorry, Binka. My bad. I kept saying Bianca. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, but I caught it. Woohoo. Aw, oh, there we go. Chalky leveled up. Okay, there we go. And... Woohoo. Okay, now I've spent almost all my Pokeballs. Oh, there's a Charizard. What's up, buddy? Wait, is this a... Oh, that must be Leon's Charizard. Oh, you're so cute. All right. Uh, what, they said the one with the purple roof? I don't think there's a way to get behind it, sadly. At least from what I could see. Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find poke the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. I see how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Oh, this is nice. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. What the? That is so adorable. That's a Corgi. That is just a Corgi Pokemon. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on our level uh, never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day, when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, that's his trainer, Sonia. Or so Sonia? What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food that you can gobble down in a flash. Tisk, what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya. I'm Professor's assistant. This is Chicken Nug. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set on her right path. Uh, set her on the right path, would you? Oh, that is such a cute Pokemon. Boop, boop, boop. Sai, what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a... Uh... Oh, the Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Aw. Random phones are, in handy li are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and navigational tools. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me. Do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, 
I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your phone. There we go. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Sure, I guess. Aw, oh, you're such a cute Pokemon. What's around here? Hmm, nice. Oh, wait, hold on. See a Charizard on there. I don't know if there's anything useful or interesting in here, but I thought it'd be nice to see it. And... Well, I think I did everything I could in here, guys. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop ya. stop ya. You just left a lap, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Oh, I got a potion. Yep. I know how to use a potion, sir. Knowledge is powerful. It's a good idea to talk with lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Oh, makes sense. See, I love about the Pokemon universe, you're just allowed to enter random people's houses. It's just amazing. There we go. I want to know if there's like a Pokemart somewhere. Oh wait, what's in here? Oh, this is the Mart. Oh, or is, is this? What is... Oh no, this is like a travel station. Oh, that's cool. And nothing down here. Oh, there! thank God I can finally heal my Pokemon. Got your Pokedex? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling an art trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon centers. Luckier yet, they're, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Chicken Egg, I bet you've never been inside one. Oh, I have. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, what is that? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you, cute, if you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good, though. What is that hanging on top of a... It almost looks like an ATM. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. Alright. I guess I'll just heal my Pokemon. <clears throat> you know, guys, while I'm playing, I figure I'll tell you guys a story of what happened today after I got off work. I, uh... I was getting ready to drive home in my car, letting my car warm up. And sadly, the city I live in is really somewhat in a way notorious for the amount of the homeless population that is here. It's just a reality of life. Um, it's sad. And obviously I feel bad for a lot of these people who are down on their luck. But this story kind of gave me uh, a little bit of hope. Oh, wait, hold on. I could rate a nickname. I want to see it. But... I just want to see him in the lamp, is it? That's quite a fine nickname, but I think we give it something even better. Nope. Oh, wait, nope, I did not mean to do that. Just trying to get out of here. Anyway, um, as I was driving home, I noticed another woman. I think she was from where I worked, just walking out. And just all of a sudden, I uh, noticed the homeless man as well. So, it's by, this is kind of a cold morning. It's a cold, wet morning. And she walks up to the sleeping homeless man who's laying on the floor. And she just puts on she takes off her jacket and puts it over the sleeping homeless man and this looks like a clothing store i probably don't have enough money to buy anything here yet anyway and that's all that's what she did she put a jacket over the sleeping homeless man and continued to walk i think she actually walks home and she was walking in the wet cold weather and it just kind of like threw me for a loop but it made me you know it made me happy, I guess I could say, that, you know, sadly, a lot of people don't look at homeless people as people, but this person did. 
and uh, it show made me feel happy because I'm like, there's people out there who want to help others, and I've always wanted to help others too. Like, I know I can't help everybody in this world, but I want to help as many people as I can. Listen, Chicken Nug, I've been thinking. If you're playing with right now, you must want to... Yes, I do want to do that. But yeah, there's my happy little story of a person who went out of their way to help another person who's struggling. And I'm hoping... I would have done the same thing if I got the chance. And I'm hoping in the future that I can be successful enough to help others. And that's just what I think about it. Hold on. A prep arrival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? Motivate, right? The professor house is way down at the end of Route 2. So let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along the way. Awesome. And with that, you guys, I think it's about time that I end the live stream. I'm sorry, I've had a great time, but... You know, it's just time that I head off. I got a lot of other things to do. I even got a new big video. Two big projects in the works for you guys. So I hope you enjoy them. But I want to thank everyone for joining me on this live stream. It really meant a lot to me. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll be able to stream this game soon. Thank you all so much for watching.